There's a story segment tonight. There's a show on Broadway called Long Story Short starring Colin Quinn, the former Saturday Night Live guy. In fact, Quinn is the only person in the show. And I saw it last week. Very good. Colin Quinn joins us now. And you wrote the show. That's right. You wrote it all yourself. And yes. it's just you. And uh, very, very funny. And basically, uh, the program portrays a civilization and its downfall. You go right. into Romans, Greeks, you know, and then you get to America, Dan, but I want to save that. The first thing I want to ask you is, Jerry Seinfeld directed the show, is that correct? Jerry That's correct. Seinfeld? Okay. Did you just stand there. That's all you do. What, what exactly did Jerry do? Say, so stand a little closer to the audience? Stand a little further back? What, well, did what if do? I moved around? <laughs> He's the one that said, don't move. Stand don't there. move, just stand. Now, did you pay Seinfeld for that? <laughs> yeah. It's just you. He needs the money. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take care of him. It's because I was watching, you know, directed by Jerry Seinfeld. It's one guy on the stage. He's just standing there. All right. America today. Were you on out of tubes like the Greeks and the Romans? Sure we are. We're I mean, going down. Sure. Don't you think? I don't. You know, I'm asking you, man. Well, I mean, the whole one of the one of the themes of the show is how you know we keep doing the same things and expecting different results. Things that used to work. So I talk in the show about dissent and debate used to work for our country, but it doesn't work now. It's just like you know tribalism work. The Greeks thinking they tried to think they were. We're like a compilation of every empire as they fall. We're like the Costco of empire declines. We have to combine every aspect of so every empire. For everything that everybody in the past done wrong, we, we're we doing have to now. And how does it manifest itself? Um, just excess. I mean, with us, it's like excess, but it's also the fact that, like, now, like, even years ago, people used to say we left all the manufacturing jobs, left the country, right. and it was just all moving money. But now it's not even moving money. Now it's not even moving the idea of money, people's, most people's job is talking about the future of pay, like money not even in the present tense. It's not even paper. It's, it doesn't even it's exist. like a hedge fund, guys. Nobody knows what that is. Right. It's, it doesn't exist. Right. You're trading the idea of somebody else doing something. And they make all this money and they don't really do anything. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing there. Yeah. Um, how long do we have, Colin? Because I'd like to, you know, make a getaway if I could. <laughs> Just before it all goes down. Well, a lot of people say next year, 2012, but that's the Mayan, that's South America. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the Visigoths. They're, they're <laughs> in Canada now, and kind of inching their way away. But also, you think that we're, we're, we're culturally in decline because of things like the Jersey Shore, right? Well, I mean, we've always been like that. I mean, that's a, Jersey Shore is an easy one to attack, of course, because the Greeks, at least, well, at least when they watched plays, they weren't frivolous. They were, like, watching nobility and all these, like, deep thoughts. We're just watching, like I say, Snooky losing her cell phone. Yeah, but you know, if you really look at what's going on on the Jersey Shore, it, it's almost like the Greek plays in a way. Because remember the Greeks, Oedipus, yeah. the mom, and all of that? Yeah. You know, it's, if you just look, boil it down, I don't know what they're doing. I never watched the Jersey Shore. It frightens me. Yeah. And I thought it was a zombie thing at first, but they're really not, they're real people. I think it's, yeah, it frightens you because we're Irish. Yes. That's not all part of the Jersey no, no, Shore. That's an we're Italian. Belmar. That's an Italian show. But it's not all we the time. Knew. I know Italians culture. who are just appalled by that. Yeah, I know too. But you know, even it's even too close to them. Here's how bad the Jersey Shore thing is. Even organized crime <laughs> is appalled by it. Yeah. Even the mafia is going, "Hey, you're giving us a bad day." <laughs> All right, yeah. It's, Tony Soprano was there. We're trying to make it's it not even that bad a show. People are making that into like the focal point when it just kind of symbolizes everything. I mean, they just, you know, they're not even they're not even like the Italians when I was growing up. They just base. They don't even fight. They no. just get mad. They sit, they sit down. You've never seen them growing up. It was the, and they're sitting there like. I feel like we're not connecting. They stopped having these heart to hearts with each other. Right. It's like a touchy feely new nation. Yeah, of. I like West Side Story better when they just attack each other. Yes, like exactly. Better. Now, do you do you watch like the Factor and cable news? And, of course and, and, I do. And listen to talk radio to draw from your material to get. I do. Yeah. I'll prove to you I watch the Factor. I think you've been very uh, bullying to Steve Ducey lately. I think Steve brings out something in you. Yeah. From you know teenage years, where you just bully him. Well, I see Steve as, as part of the decline of America. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> just because right. the culture crazy thing he's right. Yeah, but it's funny because, because Miller, Miller insouciant attitude. Miller, right? who you know very well, has done yeah. very well here on the fact. That's why right? I said insouciant, insouciant, because you know. Yeah, Miller told me that the humor with with the uh, you know. Um, actual culture. You do the same on the Broadway stage. It's very Miller-esque. And I want everybody to go see it. Long story short, directed by Jerry Seinfeld, who did absolutely <laughs> nothing. But there you go. Tom, thanks for coming in. Good thanks a lot, Bill. All right. We come right back. Len Beck.